Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us on this October webinar. Uh, today we'll be uh, featuring our partner, Cambridge Imaging Systems, who will share with us some uh, valuable information on their imaging product. We will be recording this webinar, and we'll be placing it on our website over the next coming days. So just an introduction, uh, my name is Elton Canero. I'm the Partner Integration Manager for Falk Atlas. I am responsible for all partnerships uh, from an ISV as well as a channel perspective. Thank you for joining us on this uh, partner showcase. Uh, this webinar will show you how Falk, Falk Atlas uh, can help you accelerate in the ingestion and distribution of content with Imogen. We'll run these webinars on a regular basis uh, to share with you our partner solutions and show you how we work together. So a bit about Fall Catalyst as a uh, product and a company. So we are an Ottawa-based uh, software company. We've been around since the year 2000. We've always provided uh, file transfer solutions, and uh, since 2004, we focus on accelerated file transfer solutions. We are an Emmy Award-winning company. Uh, our products are horizontal, hence a good fit for any industry who needs to reliably, securely, and effectively move data over the WAN, all while doing it in an efficient manner that is accelerated and maximizing your bandwidth. Uh, some of the verticals we sell into are broadcast and media, enterprise, oil and gas, medical, and so on. Some of our customers in the media and broadcast space include NBC, uh, Saturday Night Live Show, Jimmy Fallon, Sunday Night Football. We have Harpo, CBS, DreamWorks, Time Warner, BBC, Bell Media, ZTV, Al Jazeera, to name a few. So before I hand it off to Ian, I would like to I'll let you know that we will be monitoring our Twitter feed during this webinar. Uh, you can use the hashtag FileCatalystWebinars to send us a tweet, and uh, we'll be re uh, monitoring them and answering any questions or comments on our Twitter feed. Um, at this point, I'd like to introduce uh, Ian Modished from uh, Cambridge Imaging Systems, who will be a panelist on this webinar. Ian, over to you. Well, hi, everyone, and, and thanks for the introduction, Elton. Yep. So a little bit about us then to begin with. So. Um, Cambridge Imaging have been uh, in business for about 20 years now and we've been developing media asset management software for a wide range of government and commercial clients. Um, now we started out developing our software for organisations like Ministry of Defence and the BBC, so security plays a big part in what we do. Um, on, on the flip side from that, uh, we've also worked on projects with the British Library and the Imperial War Museum where we provided the public with access to media collections of national importance. Um, our systems are also used in education, where we capture TV and radio broadcasts, and we've converted them into an archive of over one million TV and radio programs, research and teaching. Uh, and that service is used by over 60 universities in the UK. Uh, but, to, but to continue the story, uh, about five years ago, we took the decision to productize our software so we could bring our platform to a wider audience, so it's now available as a cloud-based service as well as on-premises. Um, and we're now seeing our software uh, being used for sports, for business, by production teams, in marketing, lots of different areas. Uh, but I'm going to be telling you more about our enterprise video platform, uh, which is called Imogen, a little bit later. Um, for the moment, back to you, Elton. Thank you, Ian. Um, so on the agenda today, we'll t walk uh, to an overview of uh, the Falk Atlas protocol and then talk about the uh, Falk Atlas ISV partner ecosystem. I will then hand it off to Ian, and he will give us an introduction to Cambridge and the award-winning product Imogen. I will then take over and give you a brief overview of Falk Atlas Direct. This is the solution that was integrated into Imogen. I will then hand it off back to Ian, and he will talk about the Falk Atlas integration within Imogen. And Ian and I will then talk about the value proposition. Uh, we will have some time for Q&As at the end, uh, so feel free to hold your questions till the end. Or if you can even start asking us during the webinar, we'll answer them at the end. And as you can see, um, there's a lot of stuff to cover today, so uh, stay tuned. So before we begin, just want to give you a quick introduction. What do we do? So Falcalis provides enterprise-grade software solutions that allows movement of large data around the world. It is a patent-pending technology that allows for accelerated file transfers using a unique UDP-based approach. Falcatalyst simplifies complicated large file transfers for the enterprise end users. Falcatalyst has easy-to-use tools and an intuitive user interface. Falcatalyst also provides all the tools for integrating its technology into other products as well as existing enterprise infra infrastructures. 
Power Catalyst provides all the management, security, and monitoring tools required to ensure data is moved efficiently, securely, and reliably across corporate networks. The Power Catalyst solution is also available on all major cloud vendors such as Amazon, OpenStack, Windows Azure, as well as localized regional cloud providers through our cloud marketplace partners. So before we begin, just another a quick overview of a TCP and what FTP is. So what is TCP? So TCP has been around a really long time. TCP is the underlying protocol for most applications we use on a daily basis, email, browsing the web, as well as FTP. Uh, TCP powers the internet. It was built well into the 70s and it's been around since then. TCP has been built for sending small data. It was never designed to send large data. However, it is a protocol that handles data with a focus of reliability, error checking, congestion control, and making sure data is intact, however, not with speed in mind. So it's great for sending small amounts of data. Here's an example of how TCP works. TCP sends data in a serial process. The sender will send a small amount of data and wait for an acknowledgement of all the data sent before, before proceeding to send more data. This makes TCP a very chatty protocol. When we say chatty, we mean in the sense that there's a lot of waiting and, not, and a lot of talking but not much data transfer. With File Catalyst, the sender breaks down the file into blocks and blocks into packets. We number each of these packets and send as many as you can on the network. Since the packets are numbered, the receiver will only request the packets that are missing or post to acknowledging all the packets. This process eliminates a dead air on the line, ensuring the link is entirely maximized. During the transfer, the sender will receive uh, and receiver will also monitor uh, the network for drop packets or latency spikes. When this happens, it means that the sender is sending faster than what the link can handle. This is known as congestion. Falcalis has a congestion control algorithm built into the protocol to ensure oversaturation is not encountered and other applications running on the same bandwidth are not starved for bandwidth. The congestion control can be tuned based on priority of file transfers. In addition, the congestion control algorithm can instantly detect the link capacity and have the transfer start at that rate. Here's a table that shows you the bandwidth improvement with Fall Catalyst. This table shows you the comparison of transferring a 10 gigabyte file over various links such as 1 gigabit link and a 10 gigabit link and basically what FTP will give you on that link versus what File Catalyst will give you. So ha keeping in mind that File Catalyst is immune to latency and packet loss. So if you take a, connection, take a look at a connection between LA and New York, we have an RTT which is the latency of about 50 milliseconds. So to transfer a 10 gigabyte file on a 1 gigabit link, FTP will take around 5 hours and 48 minutes, whereas with File Catalyst, we can transfer that file in 1 minute and 24 seconds. Same connection, same size, but a, a longer distance. So looking at a transfer from LA to Rio, FTP will take about 15 hours and 44 minutes, whereas File Catalyst will take 1 minute and 24 seconds. Now, if you look at a 10 gigabit per second link, a transfer from LA to New York, 10 gigabyte file, FTP still takes around 5 hours, whereas with File Catalyst, we can transfer that file in 8.4 seconds. So as you can see, with File Catalyst, we're maximizing your link and we're making sure that data is getting across as fast as possible. So in a nutshell, File Catalyst will play fair on your network. File Catalyst can transfer files up to 10 gigabits per second in a single stream. File Catalyst can be configured to transfer huge amounts of small files efficiently. File Catalyst can also handle large files. In addition, File Catalyst has features to reduce the amount of data sent across the wire. Compression on the file will compress data in transit and decompress the data before it is written to disk. Incremental deltas will ensure that only parts of the file that have been modified are transferred. File Catalyst offers secure, reliable, and managed file transfers with the ability to automatically resume broken transfers. File Catalyst has automation tools as well as a strong SDK which can be used for integration into other products. File Catalyst also has a central management that provides a bird's eye view of your entire deployment. Now let's take a look at our, uh, the File Catalyst uh, ISV partner ecosystem. Here's a list of some of our partners. The File Catalyst technology can be integrated into any software or hardware. 
out there that has a need for file transfer. Filecalis is an extensive suite of APIs that can be used in any type of integration. We integrate with cloud vendors like Compute Next, MAMS, storage vendors, uh, QC applications, uh, media workflow engines, as well as playout systems. When we look at MAMS, uh, Cambridge Imaging uh, product is one of those MAMS that we've integrated with, and Ian will be talking to you about that. So Ian, off to you uh, and to give us a quick introduction of Imaging. Okay, thanks Elton. Okay, so uh, for those of you who haven't come across this before, Cambridge Imaging's MAM system is called Imogen. Uh, now Imogen is an off-the-shelf enterprise video platform which can be used for archiving, managing and publishing all types of media assets. And it's available on-premises or as a cloud-based solution. Could you go to the next slide, please, Elton? Thank you. So what makes us different? Well, Imogen is all about your media, your brand and your audience. Imogen is end-to-end, -end, which means that we provide a full range of workflows to automate ingest and save media files to any number of storage appliances that can be used for long-term preservation or immediate access. Uh, Imogen is highly customizable, so we enable our customers to publish their content online in a customizable website so they can completely brand and control the user experience. And finally, we secure, so our customers get to decide who can see their content and what they can do with it. So if we can just look at that in a little bit more detail, we've got lots of ways to ingest files, and that can be uploads via the web interface, via hot folders, via a client, or via a REST API. And when the files come in, they hit a workflow, and you can create as many of these workflows as you like with a drag and drop workflow editor. And as part of the workflow, we can transcode the files to create any number of proxies and then we store the different versions of the file on a range of storage appliances. So high-risk masters can be saved to a long-term storage medium like tape, while proxies can be saved to spinning disk or cloud storage, you know, whatever's the most appropriate medium. So that's the, uh, the file archiving and management piece taken care of. But what really makes us unique is our customizable web interface. So Imogen comes with a range of stock themes, or you can create one yourself, rather like WordPress. You just open up the admin panel and start configuring your site. You can add widgets, change the color scheme, add your logo, and so on. And this is also where the administrator can also manage access to the content available. You can also assign permissions to users and groups to determine who can see the content, and also decide who can download the high-res versions or create clips, make collections, share files, make comments, updates, records, and so on. Um, so that's a very quick overview of Imogen for you all. Uh, and for, for the moment, uh, it's back to Elton. Thanks, Ian, and thanks for that uh, introduction to Imogen. Um, so now let's take a look at Falcatus Direct. This is the product that has been integrated into Imogen. What is Falcatus Direct? It is a point-to-point -point file transfer solution requiring software at both endpoints hence a server client model. The client applications include the hot folder, which allows you to perform automated and scheduled transfers with folder synchronization. We have Falcalis Express, which is a desktop client which allows for ad hoc manual file transfers. We have Java applets as well as a transfer agent, which can be embedded into any web page to offer either upload-only capabilities, download, or two-way. We also have the headless applets that you can use to build your own interface on top of however, still leveraged acceleration technology. As mentioned, we have a strong suite of APIs that can be used for any type of integration. And lastly, we have our mobile clients for iOS and Android. So now that you've heard about Falcalis Direct, Ian will tell us how Falcalis is integrated into Imogen. Ian, over to you. Thanks, Elton. Um, so a, a typical use case for us is where we have members of staff who are creating or gathering content in a different location to where Imogen is based. So if you take a look at the bottom left quadrant of the, the diagram there, um, and that's where those users need to get their media into Imogen quickly so it can be archived and made available online as quickly as possible. Now it's uh, very straightforward uh, of us, uh, sorry, straightforward for us to install File Catalyst server on an Imogen server, and that means that when users upload content, we see the incoming files landing in a hot folder, and we can set up Imogen to automatically 
ingest those media files. And they could be uh, video files, images, audio files, uh, and, and XML. And the files go through our workflows. We automatically transcode and store the files, and they are made available online via the customizable website. Now, the beauty for us with File Catalyst is that it actually took no integration whatsoever. Um, you know, we just installed File Catalyst uh, direct server on, on our server, and we're ready to um, start accepting incoming files. So it was incredibly easy to set up, and it, you know, it gives us a, a great deal of uh, value. Back to you now, Elton. Cool. So, um, why should you use File Catalyst technology when using Imogen? So, file catalyst can be used in any workflow that requires secure, reliable uh, file delivery throughout the world, right? So, for, ex for instance, you have newsrooms, reporters and geolocations needing to get media up to a website quickly. Here's where you can, you know, use Imogen to provide the front-end uh, view of that content and use file catalyst to get that content into, you know, Imogen. When you have centralized archives with offices around the world, so you have an archive where you expose the content of those archives you know, using Imogen, and however people want access to that. So with File Catalyst, we can actually allow you to accelerate downloading of that content, as well as if you want to ingest new content into the archive, File Catalyst can help with that. When looking at live sporting events, um, content is produced, and the key thing with File Catalyst is our feature of uh, doing progressive transfers. So as this content has been written to disk by a camera, a File Catalyst can actually start uploading that file you know, up to Imogen, as well as if you look at long distance learning, a sharing of videos uh, that uh, be between various uh, students across the, world, you know, the, the country or the globe, uh, File Catalyst can help accelerate the uploading of those videos, as well as if clips need to be made and downloaded, the students can then do that through Imogen and get access to those files. So, at this time, I would like to invite our audience to ask any questions uh, they may have. Uh, there is a question panel on the GoToMeeting webinar. Uh, as questions come in, I will read them out so that everyone can hear the question. Then Ian and I will answer them. And it looks like... So there's a question, uh, will the presentation uh, be available afterwards? Yes, uh, we're recording this uh, webinar and we will place it on our website under the webinars tab. Um, Cambridge will also have a copy on their website. Um, it'll take about a couple of days to get the webinar up. Yeah. So there's another question coming in. Um, can we use File Catalyst on the cloud version of Imogen 2? Um, yes, absolutely. So uh, with File Catalyst can be deployed on any location, uh, whether it's on-premise or in a cloud. So yeah, absolutely, you can uh, use File Catalyst on the cloud version of Imogen. And another question is coming in. Uh, Ian, I'm guessing this one may be for you. Uh, can you use File Catalyst to transfer media from Imogen to a third-party application? Um, yeah, I, I, you can. We've got a, um, a plugin which you can use within your um, workflow editor, which enables you to um, have or well, create an output file. So it's part of a workflow you, which you can kick off either from the web interface or from the backend interface, uh, which will get the output files from workflow and put them into a nominated output directory. Now, the output directory can be set up with um, File Catalyst, so you can then um, push those files forward um, to your, your third-party um, application or, or using File Catalyst. Cool. Thanks, Ian. So, yeah, um, it looks like uh, that's it for questions. There's nothing coming in. So, um, once again, uh, thank you very much, uh, you know, for joining us on this October webinar. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again at our next webinar. And, Ian, thank you very much for being a panelist on this webinar with me.